and haha, -ha, funny, uh, you know, Macharino, do the Macharino, see that bar. Oh, it's, yeah. It's gonna... I forgot to talk about it. <laughs> we were Type just... Macharino. <laughs> anyway, game one, Town and City. Dill already starting off uh, pretty strong. Thank you for the follow, PTM Live. And it's it's going to be interesting to see how the item play actually works in this match. Because while Dill will be spawning Gyro more frequently, just because that's it, it's a lot quicker to spawn. Player 4, no stranger to playing with items thanks to being able to pull turnips. So if he's able to get his hands on Gyro like so, this can mean just as much danger for Rob as it is for her, for uh, their opponent. Absolutely. All right, nice. Uh, like you were talking about in the last match, uh, Dill ready for the mash or lack thereof. So we'll see maybe how that plays into later stocks, see if uh, Player 4 mixes it up more. But Player 4 right now in the driver's seat with all this item play. Uh, gyro, uh, Peach with Gyro, not only, uh, you know, good just because of having items, but you remove, you get all of the, most of the benefits of the turnip, and Rob gets none of the benefits of the gyro. Yeah, especially with how uh, crisp these floats have been from player four. I mean, this is this is why you do a button check, right? It's like, all right, what's what's playing on this monitor to feel like? Great. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Because these backers have been on point, and the float cancel arrows all over the place from player four, trying to punch at where Rob is at uh, their worst which is sometimes getting people off of, uh, the, for the Rob player, getting the opponents off of him can be a pretty uh, pretty hard. Dill, as you see here, already taking 67 as this combo game really starts to flourish from player four. Yeah, I love that full hop fair, kind of realizing that player four has been liking to uh, jump and float away using that float movement uh, as much as possible, and Dill scouting that out in order to gain some space and therefore gain an advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, uh, like you were saying, Rob's uh, reversal potential, not quite as versatile, but uh, that forward air, so, so quick. Yeah, frame six, it's a, it's a really good scrapping tool and on a character Ooh. full of them, but that air dodge, that's, that's just... Unfortunate. Yeah, I believe he was facing the wrong way during the early part of the air dodge, which mm -hmm. restricts you from grabbing the ledge. Yeah, and this is going to be huge, especially against two players of this caliber. Oh my Dill God. is just going to be able to run away with it, already getting 70% in an edge guard situation. Jeez, Ooh. this is brutal. Dill is just not letting player four land, using all of, using Rob's incredible up air as well as a slight range advantage to make the most out of all this. Finally, uh, shooting an errant laser, which allows player four to kind of reset neutral as he comes down with the fair of trying pushing the uh, pushing the advantage he had gained to the uh, to its fullest. Mm -hmm. And this is you know this is not out of the realm of possibility for player four right now. If he can get back on stage and get some of those crazy peach things going. Oh yeah, this is one down to the way from even, you know. <laughs> Especially with gyro in hand as we see the Z drop, but nothing uh, coming out of it. Dill, cool, yeah, common collected. I think I think player four just barely misspaced that. Look at look for a uh, Z drop grab, but uh, was just outside of Dill's range. Uh, blocking the gyro, seeing what he can do. Yeah, I like this patient play from uh, from player four right now. Not looking to commit too hard, but Dill ready to ready to punish something as small as just a jump. Dill was ready for it and was able to convert off of it for the stock. It's interesting, right? Because this whole this whole uh, neutral here. It was done because uh, player four didn't want to pull. Uh, he didn't want to pull turnip. He want, that was uh, too much of a commitment at 177 or at, at 150 as he was at. Uh, especially given Rob's full screen pressure off of things like a laser and gyro were being used uh, at, uh, frequently, to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> Yet that same level of rotation, which is great in training room, but. Going from dash forward, dash back, float forward, float back. That cadence was eventually just caught on to by Dill because mm -hmm. she had enough time to process it as player four looked for their opener. But the immediate stage pick, uh, it wasn't banned. We st we had banned uh, ba both triplat stages, or Dill had banned both triplat stages, which leaves FD open, a phenomenal stage for Peach if she's allowed to utilize that full combo game and find these premier starters that Peach players love to see. Mm -hmm. Dill was really locking down on those. All right, 
and it looks like we're starting off with a pretty even game. Uh, still just, uh, you know, doing our best with the uh, projectiles, making sure Player 4 can't get those explosive peach starters, but fuel is looking a little low. There we go, finally getting back to, back to center stage. Player 4 now with Gyro in hand, not letting Dill have it. Oh, getting the, only a couple hits of down air, and there's one turnip, having free reign to pull as many turns as he pleases, yet the Dill Classic. Yeah, Dill never grabs ledge. <laughs> we see that on stream so often. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, dead at 91, maybe Raid had a thing or two to say about mm -hmm. that, but now we get to see Dill kind of uh, forced into the forced into the back foot. There was many a time where uh, most of game one even was still playing at an advantage, and she did phenomenal with it. But now that player four gets to play a similar type of game plan, because hey, both these characters are kind of floaty and uh, utilizing item pull to keep uh, to keep a lot of space. Get that up angle forward smash will certainly do it on the errant counter. Nice. <laughs> Just. <laughs> this is the item drop sound effect all over the place. I know. <laughs> hey, there we go. Dill gets that trip. Now we're looking at an even game. Not able to punish the forward air. Wasn't ready for the cross up. Ooh, Ooh no tech. Yeah, wasn't ready for that either. Didn't really expect player four to come down with an aerial. Most of the time they had come down with like an item toss or an item drop. Mm -hmm. Player four keeping their lead for as much as possible, but... Yeah, Dill deciding she didn't really want to scramble there. Uh, chose to back up and set up Gyro, get that center space, and, you know, just take her time, uh, which I think is a great option. Yeah, and just... Hey, that's that, like, clean, efficient play, right? Forced into a tech situation, the down smash covers everything there. Mm -hmm. on, a, on a spot like ledge, like, on a ledge spot like that. Right. Clean way to get Gyro and find your as much space as you can in the corner, but player four mashing, uh, mashing jab out of the down tilt chains. Oh, this damage is starting to pile up real quick, especially with that grab going for the up throw, and instead looked for an air dodge, but not uh, player four did not give it to her. I didn't know whose Gyro that was. I didn't, I didn't know who would get clipped by it there. Oh, that time player four had the air dodge scouted, but. Just mistiming that forward air means Dill has a second chance at life and is making the most of it, looking for the roll, uh, the roll into the corner with the back air, but not finding it. Punishing Peach, Peach's floatiness and catching these landings with Gyro and uh, with Laser. This full screen pressure doing wonders for Dill in this latter half of game two, not trying to bring it to game three. We'll keep it coming, but the turnip running low on fuel, scouring. Dill's out of a jump too. Oh, just barely. She saved her jump that entire time like a good player. <laughs> <laughs> Nairs, trying oh, to find this kill. Throw. Rob does have access to a kill throw in that up throw, but the sweetest of Nair spots, of Nair hitboxes, will come out before Peach is fair. And we got to get a replay on that one. I honestly thought that was the fair coming out. That's what I thought too. <laughs> <laughs> but the the sound effect said otherwise. Is this was, who tense to the very end as Dill comes roaring with a uh, roaring back with a com a solid comeback. Mm -hmm. And and player four is still like ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I mean that's what we love to see from from Dill is that consistency, you know. Not, you know, not letting the deficit get her down. Oh, this scramble situation was so scary. Oh man, look at this! Just okay. We can jump back like ten frames. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. If you posted that image on Twitter oh. and was like, "All right, who the dies the with fair, a pole?" The fair did come out. You can see the sparkle, right? Look this at is that. this signifies that our hitbox is out. But he whiffed. This, I, I guess, this flare right here is not a—it's mm -hmm. not a hitbox. That is crazy. Just Peach's arm, but the fire—the fire, the fire burns Peach. Yep. Phenomenal, right? Like absolutely, just literally. Like there's so—I swear, every time I sit down in this in this chair, I look, I find a match, and it's oh. This game was decided by literal pixels. <laughs>